On their own, these keto mixes are not so good, but mixed together, they are delicious. Most keto pizza is complicated with so many ingredients. This one only has three, flour, water, and olive oil. Set the oven to 475 degrees. You're also going to need some mozzarella cheese, of course, and some Parmigiano cheese. Put all the mixes into a bowl and then mix them together. They complement each other. I like to store the mix in a bag for later. It makes up to three pizzas. Then you're going to need some hot water, not lukewarm and not boiling, but hot. Add two tablespoons of olive oil. You're going to need three quarters of a cup of hot water. And then you're going to need a cup and a third of the mix. Put it all together in a bowl, the flour, the water, and the oil, and then start mixing it together with a fork or a spatula or whatever you like. And then you're going to need to add uh, a little at a time about another half a cup of mix. But don't mix it all in. You need to add it as it needs it. You'll see as the ball of dough starts to come together. Eventually it will come together. If you have leftover flour, just save it and then start kneading. Knead it for at least 30 seconds. But I would recommend kneading it for about two minutes. That's what I do because I like working with the pizza. So just Knead it, it will all come together until it's a nice cohesive ball of dough, and then put it in a bowl and cover it. Then leave it for 10 minutes to an hour. You could roll out the pizza immediately if you want. Then you should put some parchment paper on a cookie sheet. And now take your dough and start rolling it out. Roll it out as thin or as thick as you like. I like a thin crust, so I roll it out pretty thin and I roll it out a little bit bigger than as wide as the cookie sheet is in the parchment paper because I, let, I roll up the edges to make my own crust. But if you don't like a crust, you just like it flat, then you don't need to do that. And you can leave it a little bit thicker. Put it in the oven for four minutes. Take it out after four minutes and you'll see that it bubbles up a little bit and it starts to cook. You need to do it this way because we have a how we are. We have just a regular household oven. We don't have a pizzeria oven. This ensures a really good crust. Then put about a cup of tomato puree on top of the pizza and spread it out. And then after four minutes, take that out of the oven. You see it's steaming. And now you're going to add some Parmigiano cheese, just a little bit. You're going to add some, I like to add crushed red pepper. You don't have to though, just a little bit. And then some Italian spices, dried Italian spices. It's important that you have at least some dried oregano. Then add some mozzarella. Put this all in the oven for about four minutes. After four minutes, you can either leave it on the cookie sheet and then leave it in for another two to four minutes, or I like to take it off of the cookie sheet at this point and put it directly on the rack. This ensures that I'm gonna get a nice crisp bottom surface, nice crisp crust on my pizza. After about two or three minutes, just keep your eye on it until it looks like this. Then I slide it off onto a cookie sheet. And now it's ready to cut it up. It's ready to serve. There you go. Just be careful you don't burn your mouth. It's really hot. You can find the links to these mixes under the video. Let me know how yours turns out. If you like the video, you know what to do. There you go. Look at the way this came out. This is the best keto and easiest keto pizza by far that you're going to find. Look at that crust. It's golden brown. It tastes so good. The texture is perfect. I hope you enjoy this pizza as much as I do. It's so satisfying to finally find a good keto pizza that's easy to make. I can make it every week if I want. Buon appetito.